fasting and uh, diet diversity. That's what I would say, fasting and diet diversity and detoxification. Uh, using to, to reset the palate and to re reset the taste buds, usually bitters will happen. You know, you are island boy, so I know you understand what the bitters do. Uh, the bitters actually reset the mechanism of the palate. So I would say go on a fast. Uh, you know, you have to do long periods of fast. It's you intermittent fast. You know, eat between the hours of 12 to 6 every day. Uh, and when you eat between those out hours, wean yourself off of the addictions like the sugars and the salt potassium uh, ratio, because that's how they get you addicted. By they actually are messing with the melanin neural receptors of the brain. It's called the opiate receptors. That's your reward center. They know how to tweak these foods and create them like a drug, where they can actually attach themselves to the receptors, where you can feel like you being rewarded for eating things that, that got sweet. Same thing as the epigenetic inheritance that we was taught, transgenerational epigenetic inheritance that we were talking about with the rats, where they were punishing them for smelling a sweet savor sa uh, fragrance, right? Well, they doing us different. They're rewarding us for tasting and smelling these things. And they're, they're tinkering with the salt, the sugar, and the fat ratio of the food. And it's acting like a drug. And these drugs are literally attaching themselves. They pass the blood and brain barrier. And they attach themselves to opiate receptors of the brain. So when you eat these things, even though you're not getting a fulfilling from it, you have your, your reward centers are becoming open. So you're being rewarded with this taste. So now we're getting addicted to the taste. There's no difference between sugar cane and cocaine. In fact, sugar cane is more addictive than cocaine. You see what I'm saying? So I will say this, fasting. Once you fast or you go on intermittent fasting and you only fast between the hours of one to six, as long as you fast in at least 16 hours a day. So your safe zone is when you get up, don't, don't eat anything, just drink some water or drink some H3O2, which is fresh, freshly squashed juice, right? The moment that the sun is as high as in the sky, which is around 12 p.m., it's called the circadian rhythm. You're supposed to eat with the sun in the sun, eat when the sun is the highest in the sky, around 12, and then don't eat nothing when the sun go down. I would say don't eat nothing after 6 p.m. But if, if you want to, if you just now get into this, eat with the sun and, and stop eating when the sun go down. While you're doing that, your body is going to automatically kick itself into a detoxification mechanism. Glucathione going to start kicking on, opening up something called the NRF2 pathway. This is going to open up all these different pathways in your cells. And it's going to start pushing all of those toxins and all of those different receptors out of the body by way of the liver. So now this is what stops your addiction. And how to help this process is resetting your mouth. The best way to reset your taste buds in your mouth is taking on bitters. Bitters, bitters, bitters. I call them low oxalates because they got high calcium in them, but there's not enough calcium in them to calcify the body or to calcify the pineal, pineal, uh, the pineal gland, stuff like that. I mean, the pineal gland. So, uh, low isolate stuff that's high in uh, bioflavonoids, stuff that's high in biophotons, and these are literally your bitter, your bitter barks or your bitter roots that come from uh, anthocyanins or what you would call it. Once these roots grow a flower, the flower turn a certain color. Look for things that grow colorful, like purple colors, yellow colors, red colors, and you eat the roots of these. Usually the roots of these things are very, very, very bitter. This will start detoxing the mouth. And once you start detoxing the mouth, you can reset your, uh, your salivary glasses. You can start producing something called amylase and trypsin. And 
these are alkalizing enzymes inside your mouth. So now your mouth will start getting watery and you can cleanse up your mouth and get rid of all the bad bacteria that's in the mouth. That will actually reset the taste buds. Another thing is too, mind over matter. If you can go through that pain for just a little bit, cause you know it's pain to people when they when they going on fast is when they depriving themselves because you literally you can go through withdrawals, headaches, shivering, you can lose iron. People literally be going through withdrawals like they getting off of cocaine or like they getting off of methamphetamine or like they getting off of heroin when they stopping these things. Once you get over that hump though, you will see that your, your taste buds have reset themselves and now the things that you used to hate actually taste good.